This next video simulation shows the proposed improvements for Alternative 2, Full Interchange Reconstruction. Alternative 2 would reconstruct a majority of the interchange to eliminate the weaving movements between the facilities and improve ramp geometry and operation. This perspective simulates travel on I-664 South. Improvements proposed by VDOT would widen I-664 with an additional lane in each direction. Access to U.S. Route 58 West would be maintained by using the existing ramp at Exit 13A. Exit 13B would be eliminated to allow for the realignment of I-664 North within the main interchange area. A new flyover ramp would be constructed from U.S. Route 58 East to I-664 North. Following this flyover, motorists traveling on U.S. Route 58 East would separate into ramps for I-264 East towards Portsmouth or I-64 West towards Virginia Beach. Access to U.S. Route 13 North would be maintained using Exit 14. The existing ramp from I-664 South to I-64 West would be widened to three lanes. Existing local access from U.S. Route 58 to South Military Highway would be maintained. Widened bridges would provide additional lanes along I-64 East and West. This next perspective simulates travel on I-264 West, which would be realigned to provide a new two-lane ramp with direct access to U.S. Route 58 West. The existing two-lane section of I-264 would split with one lane as a direct connection to I-664 North and the other lane to a new one-lane flyover ramp with direct access to I-64 West towards Virginia Beach. The existing ramp from I-64 West to I-664 North would be widened to three lanes and would come in on the north side of the new two-lane ramp from I-264 West. Additional travel lanes and barrier would be added within the main interchange to separate mainline traffic from I-664 North and motorists traveling to U.S. Route 58 West. New bridges would span Ridgeway Avenue and South Military Highway Following the new U.S. Route 58 East to I-664 North flyover ramp, the barrier-separated lanes would diverge with three lanes proceeding to U.S. Route 58 West and three mainline lanes continuing to I-664 North, north of Jolliffe Road.